Well, obviously a much better result tonight. Um, we were more like ourselves tonight, which was great to see. Uh, you know, it was a rough, rough night. The other night, Friday night, after losing to Furman, we knew we lost to a really good team. But the hard part was we didn't play our Louisville basketball. Uh, I said in the last press conference that we didn't uphold the baseline expectations of our program, the things that we prioritize every single day. We, did, we didn't do a good job of that at all against Furman. And yet we still had a chance to win and we couldn't get it done. But after the film session on Saturday, we didn't go hard, um, went light, Just take care of guys' bodies. It had been a long stretch, obviously, with the transition and, and the whole deal, but no excuses. Uh, sat, uh, Saturday, excuse me, Sunday, we really got after it. I told those guys earlier in the day, we're going to have the best practice of the year. The best practice of the year. It was, I, 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 in fact, I kind of sounded like uh, Will Ferrell, like, we're going to win the Mega Bowl. You ever seen that movie? <laughs> right? It's the Mega Bowl. That's how I felt. Like, we're going to have the best practice of the year. And I meant that. And I didn't mean perfection. I didn't mean we make every shot. I didn't mean we don't turn the ball over. Energy, effort, communication, commitment, investment, what we're about. I want to see it, and we and we saw it yesterday. And I told those guys, you come out here and you beat a really good Navy team. I looked around the room. I said, anybody won at UVA? Nope. No, I haven't. Malik hadn't. He's been here for 10 years. Feels like he hadn't won there, <laughs> right? So you beat a good Navy team tonight because we reinvested in the things that matters most to our program. And if this team wants to be good, because it can be, that has to be a daily thing. Any questions? Mike, you all forced a bunch of turnovers. Did you like the defensive intensity uh, from your guys? I did. I thought that uh, that was probably the best thing that we did in terms of getting into the ball. We had a few lapses here and there. Our ball screen coverage broke down. Uh, we didn't get to the body and, and blow some things up that we wanted to and we talked about in scouting, but it's like we talked about before the game. First of all, Coach Barnett did a, a heck of a job in getting us prepared with the Navy scout. Uh, you know, that, it's his first time. As much as it is my first time, it's his first time. And he, it looked like he had been out there forever. He did a phenomenal job. Um, our staff is great. Our GAs, Coach McMains, Coach Fennell, everybody has stepped up and played a pivotal role. And our guys stepped up and defended and guarded the ball. We got into the ball. We talked a lot about that. We didn't want them to feel comfortable. We really wanted to attack uh, Carter. We wanted to treat him like Bothwell. No more Bothwells. No more. That kid can play. 19 points at UVA. We wanted to get right after him, and we did that. Your, the shots seemed to fall tonight for you guys. What, what did you guys work on? What was different? Why did it start to work for you guys? It's always easy when the ball goes in. <laughs> you know, Sometimes it goes in. Sometimes it doesn't. We just try to... Make sure that we take good shots, that we get the ball in the lane, we see out, we share the sugar, um, get up, you know, up and down the floor, play with pace, and those opportunities will present themselves. It's also good when you got a guy like Matt Cross that goes four for four from three. I thought he was great tonight. When you guys are playing the numbers that you're playing, sorry, you got, you got. <laughs> so when you guys, I, so am I, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you guys are playing the numbers that you're playing, does that give you a luxury in terms of ball pressure and saying, one, sell out, yeah. don't worry about getting tired, but also foul trouble, that kind of stuff? Yeah, it, it, it really does. This is one of the deepest teams I've ever been a part of, which is why I feel like, you know, we can do something. We can win some games. We can beat good teams because we got a lot of good players. And, you know, we want guys to empty the tank, you know. Uh, won't be your night every night, and guys got to be okay with that. Okay in the sense that, all right, it wasn't my night, I'm going to pull for my teammates, but not okay in the sense that, hey, I'm going to get ready to go tomorrow, I'm going to have a great practice, I'm going to get in the gym and watch tape with Coach, and I'm going to be better the next day. But having that type of depth does afford us the opportunity to get after the ball and get in the guys and just let it all hang out. Uh, Mike, kind of a two-parter. Uh, through the first three games of the season, why do you think it is that you guys have kind of struggled a bit with rebounding? Is it purely just effort and toughness, or is it positioning and mm -hmm. following that up with? In a game where re the rebound margin was a big issue through most of the night, why was it that Sidney Curry didn't touch the floor at all? Well, the rebounding thing is an issue. It is. And uh, we got to fix that, you know. 
Um, Coach Mack has, has always been a guy that has prided himself and our program on taking care of our backboard. Um, I don't know the numbers, but I know that we've been at least top three or top five in this league ever since we've been here in defensive rebounding. And right now, that's not the case. I think it's a combination of effort, toughness. Guys need to block out. Guys need to pinch down. Guards need to get long rebounds. Everybody's shooting threes these days. They shoot 21 threes. A lot of those are long rebounds. Uh, we can't get pushed under. Um, you know, you're a little fearful as the year goes on. You know, you're in season of doing too many live, crazy, competitive rebounding drills. Uh, you know, you don't want a guy to turn an ankle, but at the same time, we have to be a better defensive rebounding team. Uh, Sidney Curry, JJ Trainer, both. I know I didn't get them in there tonight, uh, but they got to stay positive. They got to stay ready. I wanted to give Rose a run. I hadn't played Rose this season. Wanted to see what he can do. He had a you know a good practice yesterday, and he's been a kid that I've been on really hard, like really hard, you know. Um, and I thought he played well. I thought he did a good job for a freshman, first time out there. It was exciting to see him get up and down and get his hands on some balls and do some things. But you know, I told all those guys, man, it, it takes all of us. We need everybody. We need everybody. And some nights you won't get in. Some nights you won't play as much. And somehow we got to find a way. Those guys have to find a way to stay positive, to keep pushing, to not give in. And as a staff, we're going to try to do our best to keep everybody encouraged. But we certainly need everybody in that locker room. You mentioned Matt in the, the four threes. He had two real quick in the first half. Um, what's the key to getting him going? And then secondly, he had to go out after he got the, the foul and then the technical. Did he say something to the ref or what, what happened? You know what? A.J. is a, a honorable ref because he came over to myself and Matt as, in the second half and he said, that's my bad. I was quick on that one. If I could rescind it, I would. So I asked him, I said, so does he get that foul back? Because <laughs> I don't know, you know, as much as I need to, evidently. And uh, he said, no, that won't happen. But if he were in the league, he wouldn't get fined. I was like, well, that doesn't help. But I appreciate it anyway. So evidently he wasn't as bad as, as the initial call. But we certainly got to get Matt open, get him some shots. Beyond that, he's a really good player, not just a good shooter. Like, Matt is one kid that sticks his nose in there. And we got to get all five guys sticking their nose in there, hunting down long long rebounds and uh, contested balls, 50-50 balls. He's a kid that, that does that. He prides himself on that. And we got to get more guys value in that aspect of the game. Rose looked like a type of player to stick his nose in there. Um, mm -hmm. did, did you think he got, like, give you a chance to take more minutes for him? Uh, moving forward. Then also, it looked like Gabe warmed up a little bit. Uh, how yeah. close is he? Uh, I'll go backwards. Gabe is getting healthy. Han is getting healthy. Coach McVeigh's worked him out today. We're hopeful to have Gabe be healthy enough to play in the Bahamas. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, he's non contact, but he can, you know, one on oh, do some stuff. Um, Rose earned some more minutes tonight, but he's a freshman. So, how does he respond on Wednesday? Does he show up and not get after it? Sid, Sidney Curry will get his minutes. J.J. Trainer will get his minutes. That's the luxury that we have on this team. You have to bring it every day in practice. Mac always says, like, playing time isn't Halloween candy. Everybody doesn't get a little bit. All right? You get what you earn. And that's how we're going to operate. We've heard uh, repeatedly that Matt is more than a shooter. What, what do you think he does best other than shooting and, and – does he give you enough on the defensive end? Yeah, he does. I think he tries. He's no Dennis Rodman, right? He's not the fleetest of foot, but he, he works at it. It means something to him. He gives us a sense of toughness. You know, that's one of our three core values. Tough, together, unbreakable. He's a tough kid. He's a tough kid. 50-50 uh, balls, rebounds, keeping the ball in front. Those things matter to him. He values that aspect, those aspects of the game. Those are winning plays. And I think that Matt, you know, he's 4 for 4 and – if there's a one more in the corner, if there's an open guy in the corner, he is going to pass that ball to the guy in the corner 100% of the time. His favorite player is Larry Bird. Larry Bird, as much as I was a magic guy, Larry Bird was a phenomenal competitor, one of the best the game has ever seen. Not only did he make threes, but he dove on the floor. He's a Boston kid. That's his guy. That's why he wears 33. I love that because that's old school. That's my era. I like that. Mike, you had a... 18 assists right here in the back. 
that corner. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You guys had 18 assists, four guys in double figures. What would you like better about the ball movement tonight that, that seemed to make your offense go? Yeah, I thought we got it out of our hands a little quicker, guys. It didn't stick as much. Guys didn't hold on to it as much. I thought in the second half we got a little careless with that. I thought for the most most of the game, I think we had single-digit turnovers, and then all of a sudden we wind up with 16 out of nowhere. And it's because guys started to get a little loose with the ball, a little careless. You know, I told them that that's, you know, that's not good basketball, and we're not going to sink into that just because we're up. It's our standard to play. We got to take good, good care of the ball, all right? We got to move it. It can't stick in guys' hands. We know how to play. We do this every day. We can't get outside of that. Um, Mike, half of your team's shots came from beyond the three-point line, is that a, or almost half. Is that, is that a product of the Navy uh, zone, or is that a recipe for success given that it's, it's a strong shooting team? Uh, that may that may be a Ross McMain's question, <laughs> our offensive guru. I love threes too. I, I do. Um, I, I wouldn't. I didn't see that at first. Um, but I will say, as long as the ball gets in the lane, I thought the ball got in the lane a lot. I thought multiple guys drove the ball in the lane and it came back out, and those are good shots. It's those threes that go up when the ball never gets to the paint that I don't like, and we don't we don't want those threes. We want feet set threes after a paint touch. And if we can get those, by all means, we want to shoot those. Anything further? Great, thanks. Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you. Back with, uh, Matt Cross and Williams.